good morning guys second day in scotland in the isle of mull and our special day our anniversary day after breakfast we left for a whale watching trip on a boat uh, lasting for three hours in the isle of mull drove down to tobermory took the boat from there Yes. Good morning guys. Good morning. Thank you. See you on board. Yes. The weather was not really ideal. It was cloudy and it started raining as soon as we boarded the boat. Ah, thoda close up mein kiya to acha. Normally I don't get seek sea sick. or anything of that kind but that day the sea was really very rough and because of the rain clouds hovering the boat was shaking too much after an hour or so and no sight of the whale i got so seasick and started throwing up not a good day i just somehow wanted to get back on land but i had to bear for 3 hours finally got back on land and stopped for lunch at a small restaurant in Tobermory itself but of course i didn't eat anything because i didn't want to went back to the hotel to rest and freshen up and then in the evening we left to visit the duart castle the original owners of the duart castle is the macclan clan all of you must be knowing in scotland they have those different clans and it is a 13th century castle then the insides of the castle though because by the time we reach they had already shut closed for the day we enjoyed the outdoors and were lucky to witness the double rainbow it was indeed a beautiful day though rainy from morning we were sick and but seeing the double rainbow made our day and on our way we got to see this highland coo as they call it in scotland which is actually the cows noise the view and the sight of the three lock point were simply awesome we return back to the hotel in time for a well planned dinner as it was our anniversary day guys next day we decided to check out because it was raining we i initially had planned 3 days stay in isle of mull but we cut it short because it was raining so we decided that uh, we'll take the ferry back to oban go and visit inverness So after disembarking at Oban we drove down to Fort William which is another beautiful city and it's a one hour drive the scenery on the road is simply amazing we decided to have lunch first at a pub uh, crofters and we were game for trying the local cuisine church of scotland where did i eat right keep asking me Thereafter we went to visit the famous Ben Nevis the tallest mountain train going at 6:05 from here Jacobite transit line which starts at Ben Nevis and visits Britain's main line railway station. This uh, viaduct has featured in the Harry Potter film series and it's quite famous. A lot of people come to see that, and for tourists it is more now known as the Harry Potter train. <laughs> Yeah this is a this is Harry Potter viaduct huh? Harry Potter went on a train
Hi, monster. Okay. Apparently, in Loch Ness, there is supposed to be a monster. No? The final destination of the day was the Urkuhat Castle. This is a 13th century castle and is in ruins. Now maintained by the National Trust for Scotland and there are tickets to view for the public and it was open fortunately and again it was a very rainy day and a lot of fog and mist as you can see here. This is a great Loch Ness from Murquart Castle. Finally came back to the city in Inverness and was looking out for an Indian restaurant because desperately needed Gherka Khana. And we did get one uh, Indian restaurant and we enjoyed uh, the chicken tikka masala and the naan and the rotis. Oh my god, I was trying to eat this for a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your love. Please do like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to press the like button. Please friends, stay healthy and happy. Much love.